The Atlantic tells you how to buy happiness. In Professor Arthur C. Brooks' weekly column on happiness and well-being, he brought up a couple of interesting ideas to you. He brought up some studies you've probably seen that when you get about $75,000 normally, you don't get much more happiness with more income. That at that amount of money for a lot of people, you are pretty stable, you're pretty secure, and that's what you need. Professor Brooks said that we should stop chasing life as if another five or ten or two thousand dollars is really going to make us happy and invest in relationships, invest in people, invest in something you can't buy instead of grinding away trying to be Scrooge. Well, our psalm, Psalm 109. For he stands at the right hand of the needy one to save his life from those who condemn him. This is what you need, a relationship with your most heavenly father who stands at your right hand, who takes care of the needy one. You can't buy that. It's not for sale and by design. For rich or poor, this is the one you need. The one true lasting relationship you need. Maybe you make a lot of money at work today. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't have a job. Maybe your retirement income isn't what you want it to be. But big picture, as Professor Brooks would say, so also the word of God, there's relationships you need. They're more valuable. And we would say, we need one to save our lives from those who would condemn us.